And I will give the referee credit. I mean, even though he might have been in a lot of controversial situations early in the fight, I thought he did a great job. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with red and blue, officially weighing in at 146 one half pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 27 victories, including 21 knockouts with only two defeats. From Mocha, Puerto Rico, Boricua, the challenger, former welterweight champion of the world, Carlos El Indio Quintana. <laughs> and fighting out of the red corner, wearing red with blue, official weight 146, one quarter pound. This Olympiada IT now has a perfect professional record consisting of 25 fights, 25 victories, including 19 knockouts. His heritage is IET. He's fighting out of Winter Haven, Florida, the undefeated, reigning, defending, WBC welterweight champion of the world. Welterweight Championship of the World, and I gave you the instruction. I want to remind you, this audience is here to watch you fight, so keep it clean. Touch him up. Uh, interesting point, uh, Emmanuel. This is the third straight southpaw. That's a slip. And that may be a little different in this case. Maybe Square Spurs gonna have to really stretch to hit him. Uppercuts I think I've ever seen in Manuel with either hand. Very, very good punch. Keep that hand. Let's back him with the hitch of the back. He's always keeping that. Stop! No punch. Harold Letterman gives the first post right hand and then over to his left to make Berto miss. Because he sees Berto trying to pretty much gamble on just that right hand. There's that sneak left hook that gave. Primary scoring weapon against Williams, he landed in not surprise. And Chris Quintana uh, working that right jab and always looking for the right hand back from Berto. And if the, that knockdown had been scored a fish the first round, Quintana would have two rounds. Hey. Hitting behind the head. Oh, Good left hook by Berto. Older than his own. And his hardest fight against Luis Galazzo. Smart, but he just doesn't have the hand speed. talent. Berto is not a volume puncher. When you're shorter than most of your opponents, it's difficult to four punches onto them. But now he's mixing Quintana more and more on the defensive. Tests, and his confidence is going up. And Quintana is going to flirt with disqualification if this keeps up. There is a point deduction. And frankly, I think that one was deserved. Quintana 13 out of 46. Let's see if Harold Letterman made it a 10-8 round. Harold, how do you have it? You can see with that big left hand early to win round two. Burn every time. If Quintana throws the first punch, it's very effective. Two to one, burn him. Quintana knocks a hold for Toe's left arm, which he's done on two or three occasions. No, no, no. Again, now that could have all things that are loose and proliferating in Florida. <laughs> Some of them throwing to 20 feet long. Good left hand over the top side, Berto. Shots in the body. Berto is starting to make bigger and bigger impact. This is this is how Cotto uh, dominated Quintana, getting him on the ropes, pounding him hard. Left arm pinned. Now Andre gets away. Quintana's like an octopus when they get inside, Emmanuel. You fight us. He's doing a lot of things, and I'm just wondering. Good uppercut by Quintana. I was wondering, was Berto 
is of Cosme Rivera, Puerto Rican veteran. As promoter Lou DiBella said, it was hard. And Bruno makes it easier because he just pushes himself forward. See, right there's what I'm saying. Plays when he's pushing forward. Berto sees an opportunity here. Quintana is hurt. They both ran in clean punches. Yeah. Berto's was winting will bail him out if Kimmins allows it. Hard right hand by Berto. Quintana now in serious trouble against the ropes. Wobbling, trying to grab again. Keeps throwing punches. Berto looking for one more right hand. Quintana's got his legs back already. Here we see the right hand, the shot that came in that hurt Quintana. And I, I look as I look at him, I think it hurt him and stunned him, got his attention, but I don't think he... Box out. Andre Berto was at Maturs. He had two victories over the smaller Timothy Bradley and two victories over the larger Andre Durrell. Controversially disqualified at the trials because of an incident with... Quintana dropped his left hand momentarily and Berto got in another right hand shot. Yeah, but, but it seemed like it didn't hurt Quintana. It didn't hurt Berto. He's gonna have to catch him with something he that's doesn't see coming. Right, because he's that's the type of guy just, just hopefully there are some question marks about Berto. He has real pot. Berto's is the harder punch. But Quintana hit Berto four or five clean shots to the ribs. He had a hand free. He was punished. But other than that, Andre Berto went to the fight based on, you know, he's trying to let him fight inside. Quintana eased the way out of most of those punches. I disagree with you. Here we see the exchange that we were speaking about here in the, near the corner. Where First one misses. Was misses, I think. Misses on this misses one. Misses on that one. Now watch this one your, land. You get your points on yep. this one here. Big. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Remarkable uh, knockouts we've seen in the last couple of years. But, yeah, so over the course of 12 rounds, he's not exactly beautiful. sometimes by the bicep, but the right hand is still working very well for Berto. Because Quintana can't do it with his speed, that's just the difference. He's got a lot of good strategy, but he just can't do it with his speed. That's too short. That's too slow. This is not much to about the end of the This here. is a good point at which to stop the fight, possibly. But now Quintana is going to get out of it. Andre Berto was very close to making his point right there. He's still pressuring Quintana from quarter to quarter. And that's a huge right hand right on the face. Still a minute to go in the round. Hard to see how Quintana gets out of this, though he's got good legs and good instinct. He goes and got blood over his right eye. And it's swelling. Berto looks like he needs a blow here. But he's going to come through with another barrage. That right hand was enough for Tommy Kimmins. A perfect shot right down the pipe. Oh, my God. Trainer Tony Morgan shocked Andre Berto with a tackle that could have injured his fighter. Quite frankly, that was not smart. Now Berto's up on Morgan's shoulders, but he was momentarily shocked by the tackle. So Berto joins Paul Williams and Miguel Cotto as people who knock out Carlos Quintana. Too strong, too hungry, and still undefeated. Close the show, landing by CompuBox count, 32 of his last 46 power shots.
The accuracy with the right hand was ultimately the difference. Yeah, once Quintana slowed down, he couldn't judge in time him so well. That was he was uh, landing the right hands. So Andre Berto moves to 26 and up and stays in the running for big money fights against the superstars in the welterweight division. This is the punch that hurt Quintana earlier in the round and set up what amounted to a sustained assault by Berto. From here, they went to the other corner, which was in effect Quintana's corner, and Berto hammered him some more. And I will give the referee credit. Even though he might have been in a lot of controversial situations early in the fight, I thought he did a great job of stopping the fight. He stopped it at the appropriate time. And here comes the stoppage. Watch the perfect straight right hand that lands right on the nose and mouth of Quintana. Boom. When Kimmons saw that, he'd seen enough. Perfect. That's a finish. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the Ladies game. and gentlemen, referee Tommy Kamen steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The official time, two minutes, 16 seconds of round number eight. The winner by TKO victory and still the undefeated WBC welterweight champion of the world, Andre.